Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Hype Down, and today I'm here to discuss a question I've been getting asked a lot recently. Hype Down, which is better, Unholy or Frost? Hype Down, which is stronger, Unholy or Frost? Which one is more viable, Unholy or Frost? Guys, this is Legion, and at the moment I can say with 100% certainty that both specs are viable. Now, you guys are still probably going to ask, Hype, but what's, what's better? But Hype, what's better? Um, put it like this. Think of a of a of a druid, for instance. A boomkin is viable, and a pharaoh is viable. Now I'm talking about on Warlords of Draenor. You see really good Ebola cleaves. You see really good Kitty cleaves, jungle cleaves. A lot of different things with uh, uh, pharaohs like uh, FLS. There's a lot of pharaoh comps. Now with boomkins, there's frozen chicken. There's zombie chicken dancing with the stars, um, and I think that's pretty much about all the Boomkin comps I know. Um, yeah, but anyway, they have their own comps and they're really good. You know, not they're not bad, but what's but what's better? Some people might like Pharaohs better. Some people might like Boomkins better. But guess what? At the end of the day, they both can kick ass in duels and they both can kick ass in the arenas. They both have their comps and they both can push CR. At the moment guys, as we stand, I can honestly say that you can push rating with a frost DK and you can push rating with an unholy DK. Now when it comes to unholy versus frost DK, I can say with 100% certainty that it's not a one-sided duel anymore when it comes to duel v duel. Um, Unholy has the potential to counter a Frost DK, and the Frost DK has the potential to counter to the Unholy DK. Now, how can a Frost DK counter counter the the Unholy DK? If the Frost DK can manage to stay on you, if they can, if if they can manage to stay on you, they will win, because they do a tremendous amount of damage, and it's just a lot of quick bursts that they have at the moment, guys. If they can stick to you. Now, uh, the Unholy DK. We can bang with them in the pocket for a little bit. But then we eventually have to get that space. And if we can manage to get that space. We indeed will win. Because we too do a lot of damage. It's not as fast as the Frost DK. But once the Unholy DK gets its potential burst situated. It does more damage than a Frost DK. And the Frost DK only has its Icebound heal. And we have Corpse Shield. And we have AMS, okay? And don't forget about this too, guys. We also have Spell Eater, which is pretty much a counter to pretty much all of Frost's damage. So if you pop this, you have a 10-second AMS that's going to also absorb a lot of their fucking Frost Burst. Their Sindragosa Artifact Weapon, their Breath of Sindragosa, their Frost Strikes, their Howling Blasts. It all can be absorbed with AMS. Like I said, it's going to last longer. And um, if you're able to kite a little bit, if you're able to kite a little bit, you're going to be negating a few of their Frost DK mechanics, like their Frost Strikes. Um, and Howling Blasting isn't going to break this. Uh, Remorseless Winter isn't going to tick hard enough to break this. And I think if they're specced into the Remorseless Winter talent, if you're able to kite them, um, it's, like I said, that's not going to be enough to break through this Spell Eater shell. So there's a lot of different things you can do to counter a frost dk so like i said i can't really say which one is better they're both viable I, mean, I respect both of them i play them both um i have footage coming up soon with the frost dk but because i am a true unholy dk i just wanted to really show it some love because it deserves it you know what i'm saying on warlords of draenor i dueled in unholy dk I even did a few arenas in it. I think uh, 6.0. I did like twos, and I got I got footage on my on my YouTube channel way down there. I did some threes in it too. I got footage on my channel doing it. But over time, I noticed something. I don't have good teammates. I find my teammates on the looking for group, and I like to have the power to carry my team. Now in Holy DKs, you can win games, but you're not really going to carry games. I mean, like I said, you can get gimped easy if the team is smart, but the Frost DK, there's just little things you can do to just carry the team in World of Draenor, and that's why I've been playing the Frost DK. But let's get back on topic. Legion, what's better, Unholy or Frost? I'm an Unholy DK fan. I'm going to be biased and say Unholy's better. 
Plain and simple. Because I've managed um, to duel a few Frost DKs. I've even managed to duel a few Unholy DKs. And they're not pumping out the damage like I am because they don't have it mastered like I do yet. I have a, I have a footage of, of dueler montage coming up soon. Uh, I'm not going to isolate Unholy and Frost. I'm going to actually put them both into the same thing. So you'll see my Unholy DK duels versus Holy DK and, and, and me versus Frost DKs and you will see what I'm talking about if I get that range which I'm very good at getting you're not going to beat me as a Frost DK but if you somehow manage to get it you got it um, because like I said the Frost DK has a lot of fucking burst damage um, I'll just even show you real quick actually um, before we get out of here because like I said I, I have it already I have my spec already made I just haven't been playing it <clears throat> alright so when you get on the target guys I have a few macros and shit made that I'll explain in a second but it's all pretty simple so you just pretty much just go on a target you pop your pillars and your remorseless winner now you're gonna out you're gonna obliterate to get ring power now once you get that ring power guys you're gonna howl bass a little bit you're gonna pop your breath of Sinagosa and let it rip now you can pop your weapon you do some more blitz and then you can just howling blast via obliterate and they're just going to die and then of course you got your Sinagosa it's a very simple thing and once you don't have look I already got remorseless winner back and then you just go ahead and just frost strike and you do whatever you can with the runes that you get at a time the frost dk is smooth it's, a, it's, it's, it's awesome i can't i can't say that it sucks it doesn't suck i like frost dk still but um... i just love the unholy dk could you see what i did all of my damage it was kinda all complimenting me being up on the target like uh... The obliterates, I gotta be on the target. Um, the remorseless winner, I gotta be on the target. You know what I'm saying? Now with the Sindragosa, you gotta make sure you line it up to hit him with it because it goes in a, in a straight cone. So if he happens to move to the side and you miss it, you miss it. You know what I'm saying? And at the moment, Frost DKs only have Frost Fever. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I can't hate. That actually does do a significant amount of damage. But... Unholy DKs has a lot of shit, man. I'm telling you, like, it's it's not going to be a, a three-hour-long duel. It's going to end fast, and it's whoever plays their cards right will win. If the Frost DK can fight their fight that they want to fight, they will win. If the Unholy DK can fight their fight that they want to fight, they will win. And it's very easy for the Unholy DK to, to play their game, because also, we can run with uh, Sludge Belcher. We can kite, 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 kite. Okay, just, just, just hear me out. <laughs> Watch, well, listen to this. Not only can we slow the target, right? Now let's just say that okay, we get root of a chain of ice. Okay, we go ahead and we go ahead and fucking wraith walk out of that. Now sludge belcher moves slow. So let's just say I wraith walk way over here. The frosty K is on me, and my sludge belcher is way back there. I can then grip him the fuck way back there, pop everything on him, and just watch him die. Simple, simple like that. So that's why I'm telling you guys, if we want to spec to beat a Frost DK, we can spec to beat a Frost DK. But even if we don't spec, let's just say I want to play the way I play, I will still have a chance. But there's things like Sludge Belcher and Spell Eater that I can spec into to increase my chances of winning. And no matter what I have, and no matter um, how the duel goes, it's going to end fast. Alright, so that's Unholy versus Frost. Again, they are both 100% viable. They both do a tremendous amount of damage. But the Unholy DK has a lot of AoE pressure. They have a lot of different utility to, to decay the team. Like, you feel like an Unholy Death Knight. But as a Frost Death Knight, you need to stick on your target, do your job damage-wise. But you'll come into a problem where if you're getting fucked up and you need to run away some of your damage is going to get negated but in holy dk they will still have tremendous pressure when they're kiting away now okay as a frost dk you have your howling blast and you have um well that's pretty much it if you're kiting you only have howling blast you know what i'm saying or send your ghost if, if you have it off cooldown but as a holy dk you have outbreak i mean if you have clawing shadows you got clawing shadows you got this nice ass dot damage you know what i'm saying and you got dark arbiter so you can pretty much focus on defense 
and your offense is going to do your job. So Unholy just has a lot more utility at the moment. And like I said, I'm an Unholy DK fan, man. So I'm going to be biased and say Unholy's better. But like I said, because I'm saying that, it does not mean Frost sucks. Frost is still good. And I can't stress that enough. And um, like I said, if you guys want to discuss anything more about this, just leave it in the comments below and we'll talk about it. And again... I will get my Frost DK footage up very soon. I just really, I'm really enjoying the Unholy DK, and I really just want to scale cap it because there's always little things that you can do to increase your game. And like I said, this is a different game. So I want to make sure I have everything down packed so I can know and so I can share it with you all. And the more I do this and the more I get familiar with it and the more it becomes second nature to me where I don't even have to think about it, I can deliver it better to you so you can absorb the information and so you can be a great player as well because I am here for you guys, alright? But as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Like, subscribe, refer me to some friends, and please continue to be a fantastic audience. And guys, please tune in to that DK dueling montage because I'm going to have that one put up very, very soon for you. This is your boy Hypedown, and I'll see you next time. Peace.